Right, Liz, I've stuck that fresh batch of hot pots in the freezer for you. Oh, and FYI, your splashbacks looked a bit greasy, so I've uh, given them a wipe down. Well, thank you, Sean. What's that? Some solicitor's papers have I've drawn up. You can't divorce, Tony. You're not even married. Sean, I might be blonde, but I'm certainly not brain dead. This is a contract outlining Tony's future role in this place. A silent partner. Well, you have to sign him. Oh, yeah. But nobody knows where he is. I'm fully aware of that, thank you, Jean. But I know exactly how his mind works. Well, you didn't know he was knocking off Tracy Barlow. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to come crawling back here, literally. And I'll be here, prepared. Right, well, I best get off to Underworld. <laughs> you do that, kid. You do that. Michael, are you all right? Oh, yeah, there's um, a courier. Drop these off for you. Where's it from? Don't know. Uh, there's a card. I knew it. Guessing they're from Tony, then. Says he's sorry for what he's done and for hurting me. Sorry. Can you believe that? I tell you what, oh, he will be flaming sorry if I ever get me hands on him again. The gutless, spineless... And if he thinks he can get round me with a few... Poxy roses, which are my second least favourite flowers, by the way. Well, he can forget it. Do you want me to put them somewhere? Oh, I know where I want to put them, but it's not here. Right, I'll um, just throw them in the bin then. Yeah. You do that. Did a bit of driving once. I can't drive in. More like getaway. So I don't suppose that counts. Excuse me. I pay you to work, not sit there chatting to your boyfriend all night. My fault. She was fetching me a pint, sorry. Right. And what's wrong with your legs? All right, Grandma, keep your wig on. What did you just say? Nothing. Hey, any more lip from you and you'll be straight out that door? Look, Liz. You don't mind if I call you Liz, do you? I, I just like to come in here, you know, have a quiet pint or two and enjoy the warm, friendly ambiance in here. I understand you've had some personal problems recently. Oh, do you know? And I wonder where you heard that from. Well, I'd just like to offer you my condolences for your troubles and maybe buy you a drink. I don't want a drink. Fancy a pack of crisps, then? I don't fancy a pack of crisps, either. Just go sit down and finish your pint. Whatever you say, Liz. What are you smoking at? Nothing. Just have to pretend that I didn't hear you. Liz. What? Is it all right if I take my break in a minute? I haven't asked one yet. No. To be honest, I was a bit scared to ask. Oh. I've been a nightmare today, haven't I? You've not exactly been in your happy place. Oh, I don't think I've got one of them anymore. Sorry. That's all right. I know you're having a tough time right now. Yeah, but I shouldn't be taking it out on you. Hey, maybe I should get a photo of you-know-who, stick it up on the wall and lob <laughs> darts at it. Oh, you could get a pair of scissors and cut all these clothes up. Oh, that is not a bad idea. In fact, all his gear's still here. Leather jackets, designer jeans. Maybe I have got a happy place after all. Go on. I'm just saying that if I'd have known what was going on, then I wouldn't have acted like... Total cow. 
Well, that's not fair. Luke, all I saw was that you was 